Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park! Rawr! And actually it has been quite a while since I have managed to properly record Jurassic Park Builder. Unfortunately we had some major audio issues and a few episodes had to be scrapped so I apologize. I will show you guys what we have been up to. Feel free to ask questions. We have been building, 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 raising, 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 evolving, 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 and we even have a new egg to hatch. Isn't that so exciting? We've got a wee little baby in here to hatch. So that's really fun. And Tracy's been doing great. Look at Tracy. Isn't she just the most adorable thing? Tracy, look at you. Oh man. I just, I think she's awesome. I actually had one of you guys were like, no, you give too much attention to Tracy. No, no, no. Don't worry. I'll give attention to everybody. In fact, we have come up with some pretty cool names for most of these. Like this is a little guy. I really like his spunk. I really want to give him like a really spunky, like hardcore name. And then this guy, thank you to the people who told me more about him, but he's really, really interesting because his horn he uses uh, to kind of like attract different animals to him. Like it's, it's like a sexual attraction thing to try to attract a mate, which unfortunately he will never have. I'm so sorry, little guy, because you only get one dinosaur a piece so that the battles are not unbalanced. And then of course we have the Carolina Butcher hanging out up here, which is actually not what this guy's called, just he looks so similar to the crocodilian known as the Carolina Butcher that they currently have on display in the University of North Carolina's um, dinosaur area that I just, I just love it. I think he's really cool. And then of course we've got the Velociraptor pack, which I, I don't know what to call them, but look, we have evolved them up to their next level. So they have the really awesome stripes and they are actually, Pretty good fighters, so we'll probably evolve them again pretty soon. But right now, our best fighting crew is actually Coco and Nut. So this is Coco and Nut, our pack of the Cephasauruses, and they are our best fighters at the moment. So we have been working really hard to try to get them evolved and up and moving and grooving. And we've also got this big guy over here. I kind of want to name him Barney, even though he looks nothing like Barney the dinosaur from when I was growing up, but he looks really cool. So I have to think of a cool name, maybe Mossback, but I don't know if he's going to keep this really awesome green and white coloration. You're so awesome. In fact, let's, let's make sure the security, oh, oh, where's my security tower? I think I had to sell my security tower for a quest, but I want the security tower back where it was, please. In fact, we should have a lot of new things. Look at this family safari lodge. That's so cool. People could like stay here and just watch our animals. A helipad, an observation tower, an infirmary, which sounds like something very important to have. What other things? We've been leveling up, so we've got some new stuff. The bridge over the pond. Oh man. Oh yeah, the T-Rex fossil is actually something we need to purchase for a quest. <gasps> Green tree ferns, are you kidding me? And look at that cool fossil fish, the impact crater. Oh, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. All right, like the small pond is pretty cool. Uh, let's get the T-Rex fossil down, actually. I think that would be pretty neat. Where to put you, though? I kind of need to scoot these guys closer together, I think. All right, let's put the T-Rex fossil here. And then let's go ahead and we're going to move this over here. And then we'll move this over here for now. And let's move this guy. I want him to savor the T-Rex fossil's extra XP that he could get from it. There we go. In fact, I kind of want to move everything. Whoa, there we go. He's impressed. Just don't tell him those bones are from the original park. So we put the T-Rex fossil up properly. Now what do you want to do, dude? Bring the professor along as you level up one herbivore. Help the professor level up one carnivore. Okay, well, we'll work on that. Whoa! Wonky donkey, hang on a second. We're playing in blue stacks now, by the way, so at least we'll get the little introduction. And it runs a lot smoother than it was. There, look at that. Our little introduction coming on in. Ha, just ignore that chaos. Oh, I see what happened. I think it just lost connection with us for a second. All right, come here, you. All right, we're gonna move. Barney's not a very good name. I like Mossback, actually. We're gonna move Mossback over here. Complete our mission again. Needs to be updated, there you go. All right, now let's scooch our flowers over. There we go. Let's put our little T-Rex fossil back over here. 
hopefully, there we go, that should give those guys a good experience boost. And now I really, 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 really want to have another security place. I like having lots of security towers scattered around. It makes me feel, makes me feel better. Ah, oh, there's no room for it over here. All right, well, we'll put it like over here, except there we go. Let that thing get built for a while. All right, so we have an Ankylosaurus to open up in here. So this Ankylosaurus is going to hatch, and then we also have some new territory that we've expanded into. So we need to nose around here and see if we find any amber. Ooh, I missed a spot. Let's get you cleared out, too. And then we also have a special event going on right now where uh, for, like, I think two more days, there's a special discount deal going down on the brontosaurus which i think is awesome it's one of my favorite dinosaurs that i know of uh i don't know if the brontosaurus is actually like a real dino i think it might be the one that was disproven uh as two different fossil pieces put together incorrectly or a series of different fossil pieces put together incorrectly so we'll have to see but i am one buck away from being able to get it so hopefully we can take on some good battles but i just tried to fight the next battle and we lost horribly because our dinos just didn't have enough oomph to them. So I think we need to raise our dinos oomph levels hmm. by feeding up our best teams and evolving them. So I think we're pretty darn close at being able to evolve the Pachycephalosaurus. So why don't we pop over here? All right, I think we're going to run out of food. Dang it. Yeah, we're gonna need to get more food for the Pachycephalosaurus and evolve them. And then I want to give Moss back a good chance too, because he's pretty darn ferocious. Come on, Moss back. Can we go all the way? Oh no! And now we're out of food again. <laughs> but that's okay. We we made some pretty darn good progress. Look at him. I mean, Moss back just looks totally awesome. Look at his fierceness. He just screams like tough dinosaur. Look at him. I don't think that pin is big enough for him. That actually makes me a little bit nervous. So, oh yes. And because we have actually uh, leveled up again, then we can choose an area to expand to. So where do we want to expand? Hmm. Well, first let's see if we have any more amber. Just clearing this out. Maybe that's the one that holds it. No, no new amber just yet, but at least we can hatch our little Ankylosaurus. So let's get in here. Hi, little one. How you doing, huh? All right, let's evolve you. <gasps> Look at how cute. <gasps> and we got the last buck we needed from the mission. I didn't even think about that. The Ankylosaurus was probably not very intelligent since it had a very small brain compared to its size. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, it's so adorable. And we've run into some really, really tough Ankylosauruses. So I'm excited to evolve this little one and see what we get. But you guys, that means we have enough for the Brontosaurus. Oh, we're going to get it. We're going to get it like right now. Let's go for it. All right, we got it. All of our bucks. All of our bucks, but to a good cause. There we go. Hi, little baby. Oh, now you're going to like awaken in eight hours that is so cool they're like hey did we just get a new roommate coco and nut are just bonking their heads together all right let's activate this for a while okay i think they're fully activated for as long as it can go to gather up some of the food for me um good man that's so exciting not only did we get an ankylosaurus but we just got a brontosaurus too because it was on sale yay I mean, wouldn't that be the weirdest thing if you got on Craigslist and it's like, we're having a sale on our brontosaurus eggs. That's hilarious. That's really actually pretty darn hilarious. But all right, the flashy red button is flashing and I've been told to press this and I'm pretty sure it will unleash chaos throughout the park, but I'm willing to give it a try. The dinosaurs are going wild. Send out the dinosaur wranglers. Um, let's give it a try guys. Code red, oh fudge. All right, and we have to like wait, right? Until they're really agitated and then calm them down. Oh my gosh, it's just the carnivores, thank goodness. I can keep an eye on these guys. Holy days. Almost. I'm such a wimp, it's like, I don't know. Wow, that's not a bad amount of money, I guess. 
I guess they aren't like storms. Are you like my Great Day and you're afraid of lightning, guys? Don't worry, Moss Back, I've got you. Hang on, Velociraptor Pack. All right, we need a cool pack name for our Velociraptor Pack, you guys. <gasps> Phew. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Yay, we got a new high score. No idea what that entails. Congratulations, you were able to keep the dinosaurs calm through the storm. All right, so that's just like, I think, an extra way to make some good moolah, which is kind of cool, actually. So I can, I can live with that. And actually, I wonder if that gives us enough money. Oh, I want the museum! I have been dying for that museum because I think it's amazing and cool. Uh, I think there was something else decorative that I wanted to put, like the bridge over the pond. 6% uh, bonus. Ooh, that's pretty good. Should I save up? Should I save up? I want the museum. Sorry. <laughs> I just really do. I think it would be amazing to have a museum. Oh, where should I put it? Oh, man. Tracy, you want a museum next to you? Of course you do, my love. Tracy, look at the museum. We'll move this flowery plant. Um, uh, right over here, maybe? Right over here? Almost. Uh, right up here for now. There you go, little brontosaurus. And let's pick up the museum and put it right there. There you go, Tracy. Who's a good girl? And is her area completely full over here? I think I could probably put, like, some of these, uh, one... Yeah, like the one tile plants. Yeah, I could line some up around Tracy. In fact, it would be really cool to actually do like a branching road right here. So let's move these over. Tracy, you get like your own little your own little flower field. What do you think about that, huh? I'll have to give you a better one in just a second. And then let's come in here. And let's go ahead and remove these roads. And then I want to make like a really cool little... You know you've been playing too much city skylines when the roads fascinate you this much. There we go, and they just kind of branch. Uh, and can I like slip a plant in here? <gasps> I can. Okay, let's let's pick out some plants to sneak in there. Uh, let's see. Back over here because they need to be like one. Let's say yellow flower patch, green tree fern. <gasps> the green tree ferns, yes! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. There you go, Tracy. You're going to be surrounded by green tree ferns. And actually, let's go ahead and make this one larger. Right there, right there, right there, and done! Alright, let's go back to the green tree ferns. What a way to start the entrance to the zoo, if you ask me. Like, that's cool. Right there. That's pretty darn cool. And actually, I wonder if we can move, like, our little diner. Ah, oh, almost. I wanted to put it right next to you, Tracy but it doesn't quite fit. All right, well, I am content. I am happy. We are getting some food. Uh, we have gotten our Ankylosaurus, which is absolutely adorable. Just a teensy little one, look at it. We're gonna work on evolving our Pachycephalosaurus and moss, ba moss back. Yeah, I like that name for him. So let's go do a little bit of low leveling battling and just get used to what everybody's abilities could be. All right, and we are here, back at the battle arena. And as you can see, the next team we would need to take on is a really fierce team up in the level of Floridies, like 40 ferocity, and we don't have that. So I'm going to wait, I'm gonna wait. Oh, look at the brontosaurus. It actually has a lot of ferocity just right out the bat. That's awesome. We're gonna have to focus on raising that little one up. All right, Tracy, let's see. Um, Let's let Tracy like KO somebody. Tracy, you wanna get this velociraptor? He's coming to eat your legs! Get him, Tracy, get him! You can do it! Alright, you ready, Tracy? Uh, swipe him! We're trying to save up. I've spent way too many bones. Or, yeah, the little fangs. I like calling them fangs better. I've spent way too many to get the bucks we needed. Tracy, hang in there! This is why we only let her on the low-level ones. Alright, she swipe. Charge with your big horns, Tracy! Tracy, that didn't do much. Are you gonna die, Tracy? Tracy, hang in there, darling! Alright, swipe him again! With your, your big, beautiful booty! There you go, Tracy. Good job. I hope we got something. <laughs> that wasn't a very, very good battle. You're okay, Tracy. I won't make her fight that much again. See, that's a whole bunch of food, though, so that's a good thing to snag. Alright, thank you, Tracy. Uh, let's see, there's two members here. Maybe let my Creosaurus take them on. I need a cool name for for him. 
one horn, maybe, but I'm sure there's a lot of dinosaurs that had one horn. All right, let's do this. Triceratopses really don't seem to be able to take a lot of grief. Hey, that's a pretty tough little Dilophosaurus. All right, so we smacked him with our tail and it gave us that much power. What if we charge him with our one horn? Not bad. Good job, little dude. I'm gonna have to evolve you soon too. I wanna give you cool stripes. Boom. Ah, oh, so close, yay. Okay, that's more, more fangs and more meat. And I was warned, and it's true, that sometimes you just have to get out here and spend some time kind of grinding about. Let's see, who else should we let out? Let's actually have this Velociraptor versus our Dilophosaurus. I wish we could use a special move because I love watching that like spit move. It's just so cool. All right, you guys are fighting over the same pig. Get him. Get him, little guy. Oh, he did it. Good job, little guy. Very proud of you. I love his, his awesome. He's probably one of my favorite ones because of his awesome frill. Sweet. More food. Low level food, but... All right, let's do something more risky. Let's try to take somebody else bigger on. Let's see. let's see what you've got, buddy. Can you take on all these guys? Let's do this. I mean, come on, Mossback. You're huge. You can do this, buddy. All right, let's try. If we charge them, what happens? Okay, not bad, not bad. You can do it, Mossback. You've got this. That's right, you can take that hit. Look at that dinky little guy. You got this. Smack him. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like swiping is always the stronger attack. And I really feel like this is a Pokemon battle, not gonna lie. Alright, what if we bite him? Okay, not terrible, but definitely not like smacking him with the tail. You got this, moss back. Smack! Boom! Yeah, I think tail smack is just the way to go. Oh, look! Man, Mossback, I didn't realize you were so much bigger than one horn. You're huge. I kind of really can't wait to see just how big he gets, you know? Oh, look how proud he is. I'm proud of you too, Mossback. All right, and we've got a little bit more food and a little bit more money. Anybody else? Do I have anyone else? Oh, the Velociraptors haven't been out. Um... Maybe let them take on this level. Yeah, we'll let the Velociraptors out. Just because we do need to kind of grind up some of the stuff. Look at that. I kind of want to build this in zoo crafting. But not to fight dinos against each other, I don't think. It kind of goes against the purpose of trying to make everything, like, naturalistic and, and pretty. But I don't know. What do you guys think? What is the justification for fighting our dinosaurs like this? I'm trying really hard to come up with good justification. Good job! We need a really cool pack name for our Velociraptors, too. Got this. Yes. Alright. And we've got one more, so let's let the Carolina Butcher out to play. They just... He just smashed that, so let's see how our Carolina Butcher can smash this group. Who should we focus on evolving, too? I kind of feel like we need to focus like our resources in a lot of ways. I just feel like swiping is the best. Bow! Get out of here! Look at that beautiful patterning on his skin. Whoa! Man, that is a hungry little Velociraptor pack. Clear him out with your tail! Smick, smick! Phew! Oh, look at that! What a shout! All right, there we go. Lots of money, lots of food. Let's go see if we can evolve Coco and Nut. All right, we are back, back at our part of the park, making sure that food is gonna keep pouring in for our dinosaurs. And we have quite a bit of leafy food that I'm hoping will help us evolve Coco and Nut, but I think we still need tons more leafy food. But let's try this out. Oh, look at you two. Oh, sweet. Move two carnivores, move three, or move three carnivores, move two herbivores. No problem. Does that count? Because I just got him where I want him. Yay, that counts! Did that do it? Yes! 
I knew the ex-professor couldn't resist working with live dinosaurs, and now the dig site can be mine. You sneaky man. The dinosaur caretaker crew is doing excellent work. I'm going to take some time off to write my book and share my latest discoveries. Feed herbivores three times, feed carnivores two times. No problemo. All right, one, two, and now we have no food. <laughs> Any food? Is that enough to at least feed Tracy? Not anymore. Tracy needs a lot more than that. All right, then, um, jeez, like they're so hungry all the time. Here you go, little dude. Man. All right, well, it's time to just sit back and gather up more food. Our little baby Ankylosaurus is having a good time. Look at him, he's like, smee, 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 with his little tail, so cute. And we have done a good deal of battling, so we're gonna have to really start get digging our feet in so we can start doing tournaments, we can start exploring the wilds more. Oh yeah, we need to expand again. So where to expand? Let's do it here. We're working on getting expansions done. I like it. Our park is slowly growing. And if you guys have any tips without being like spoilery tips, let me know, all right? In fact, it's Tracy, I'm gonna, ahem, just gonna casually like uh, help Tracy out with, let's see, with the fish fossil is really cool, 2.5, huh? Here, Blink. but I love green tree ferns. <laughs> Tracy, you're so spoiled. <laughs> you really are. Alright guys, I will see you next time as we continue to adventure along this mysterious island. We continue to raise our dinosaurs and we continue to do our best to figure out the way to battle and make our park well known and make our animals some of the best taken care of animals that we can have. So I'll see you guys later. Bye bye